everybody, welcome to my channel. I am Joyce Tresor from the Netherlands and I have a great announcement to make. Um, usually I do my videos in Dutch and today you will hear I speak English. Um, well, I'm trying to speak English because um, it's not my... Uh, I'm not really confident about speaking English, but I'm trying uh, because... Um, I can make my announcement right away. Um, I'm a new design team member, a happy design team member from Goodrun's Happy Journals. And because Goodrun uh, would like to go more international uh, with her shop, uh, and it's possible, of course, with uh, digital papers, um, I, sp I, I try to speak uh, English so everybody from all over the world um, could uh, understand. Um, you might know her. She's uh, one of the uh, a crafty uh, friend of mine from YouTube from Austria, and she has a great shop with digital um, papers. Uh, and with these digital papers, I uh, I can make uh, some things <coughs> to uh, show you what you can uh, do with them uh, in a design team. We are with six persons. Um, we have uh, from Germany, uh, Claudia, uh, you might know her from Femian Art, a very difficult name for me. Uh, then we have from Austria, Cordula, Kunst and Cordula uh, is her, um, her name on uh, YouTube. Then we have from Austria, Edith, Edith's Creative Chaos is her uh, social media name. And from Argentina, we have Maria, Maria Jasmine, uh, is she called on Instagram. And from the United States, we have Vicky, Vicky Retro Queen Bee. Um, in the description below, uh, Gudrun has a nice um, page on her website where she uh, an, um, introduces us with all the links to their social media Um this page I will link below, so if you are interested, you can uh, go and look them up. Um, Gudrun has a lot of uh, digital paper kits uh, to choose from and uh, on her website. Also the website I will uh, link below. Um, she has a fun thing on the website of in her shop. Uh, that's called happy points. You can collect happy points. Every euro you spend, you get 10 points. And when you collected 200 points, uh, she gives you um, two euros off. So you can uh, collect to get some, uh, how do you call that? Some seal? I'm sorry, I was uh, interrupted by someone at our door. Um, I chose the Romance in Paris collage papers, beautiful papers um, <clears throat> you can use for uh, making journal pages. Um, but I used them um, for my first uh, project, which I am going to show you a little later, uh, as design paper. Um, <clears throat> you got eight pages and the costs are two uh, euros and 90 cents. Um, these papers, these four papers, are um, at 100% printed. Uh, you see uh, beautiful roses, old papers in the background, cigarette cards and uh, butterflies. Sometimes also a beautiful old picture and birds. Uh, lovely colors, muted colors. I really think these are beautiful made. All those layers like this and the fun thing of um, <clears throat> of printables is that you can choose to uh, to print them a little bit bigger a little bit smaller uh, like these um, these are printed at 70 percent I thought yes I thought oh wow I didn't even notice it before beautiful clocks are in there too and this one so eight different pages um <clears throat> what i've made as a first uh, design team member project is an explosion box 
uh, a little bit for uh, Valentine's Day. It's this box. Um, for the box I used this, as a design paper the digital papers and decorated it with uh, some flowers and things I have uh, in my stash. Um, when you open it, it will fall down and in there I uh, decorated it also with the papers. You see uh, I use small pieces like this photo and this uh, circle with a, um, with a bird on it um, to decorate and some lace, flowers and uh, embellishments. And in the middle I make, made a little box where I can put a little present in or some chocolate uh, for my uh, recipient. I hope you like this. Um, in the next part of this video, I'll show you how I made it. It's a little tutorial. Uh, so maybe if you like to make an explosion box like this too. Um, hang on and uh, stay tuned so uh, you can make one of your own. In the description, uh, I, sh I will put a link in the to the uh, papers as well. And um, yeah, I hope you understand my English. Uh, I hope I explain everything clearly enough, um, even though I'm not that good at speaking English. But I hope um, it's good enough. Welcome to the tutorial part of this video. Um, for the explosion box, I need um, a cardstock. I use 200 grams uh, cardstock. In a craft color. Um, for the base of the explosion box, I use these uh, three pieces. These are two pieces of uh, 11 centimeters by 10, two times, and one piece of 20 by 20. And for the lid, I use a piece of 15.2 centimeters by 15.2 centimeters. Uh, first, we need to score these pieces. So I grab my scoreboard <coughs> and I start with the 11 by 10 pieces. Those need one score line at the 11 side. So the 11 side goes uh, through the ruler and I score at one centimeter on one side. So one centimeter on the 11 side. And the other piece the same at one centimeter. The piece of 20 by 20 centimeters needs a score line at 10 centimeters. I twist my paper and then again at 10 centimeters. So there's a score line over here at 10 and over here at 10. Um, the piece of 15.2 by 15.2 needs on all sides a score line at 2.5 centimeters. So at 2.5, twist at 2.5, twist again at Two and a half and at two and a half. I can put away my scoreboard and now I need my scissors. The two pieces uh, from 11 by 10, I only cut a little triangle at the one centimeter uh, piece. So it looks like this. Here's the score line. And I fold it over. And can I find my bone folder somewhere? No. Well, a bone folder will be pleasant to use, but I can't find it right now. Um, the piece with the uh, 10 by 10 score line, um, we cut one block 
a one line open until the score lines meet over there in the middle and uh, the score line is here and I cut approximately one and a half by two centimeters aside like that uh, this I can throw away and then I cut here a little triangle So now the piece will look like this, a square over here, square over here, another square over here, and a piece where I can put my glue on. And the lid, we only cut uh, the little squares in the corner, uh, we cut it loose, all the four corners. small triangle goes away also so it looks like this and also on the other side like this now we can glue a lid from that a little um, I don't know how to say it. <laughs> it's really scary to talk English. I can um, watch movies and TV uh, shows in English and understand it all, but talking myself is so scary. But um, I think it's okay to try and to get better every time and um, because of Gudrun is from Austria uh, and not from the Netherlands. It's nice for all of you people to understand uh, what I'm doing. So I keep on trying speaking English. Um, I'm going to glue the lid. So there's four uh, squares in the corner. I drop some glue on them. Uh, I like to use my art glitter glue by crafting one of yeah, actually it's my favorite glues because it's had a um, very short drying time which i like <clears throat> so the lid is ready now we go on with the explosion box uh, the 20 by 20 piece all the score lines fold in a valley fold it's all the same uh, same way um, and I can put some glue over here So it can stand up this piece. So you can make uh, explosion boxes where all the uh, sides are falling down. I choose to make one with two sides staying up and two sides falling down. So you can make a little kind of theater uh, thingy. Um, to, de to decorate and stand on uh, a nice uh, table or something. Uh, this is the piece with the one centimeter score line where I can put the glue on top. And this piece goes under. Like this. And um, okay, this is a hard thing to explain, but um, the score line is a little bit next to this piece of paper so it can fold 
nicely up uh, be careful not to glue the score line under so that will be uh, make this upfolding more difficult i hope it's the right way to say uh, what i mean this piece will go also under at this side Like this, and the lid on top. For closing. So this is the way you uh, can gift your explosion box. And when someone, somebody uh, open it, take off this. And now it's too, um, it will fall down by uh, gluing some papers and things over here. Now it's not heavy enough. And it stands up but it will uh, fall down um, to decorate of course we're going to use the digitals uh, from Gudrun, Gudrun. Um, and I already uh, cut those pieces I used the uh, um, romance in Paris uh, uh, pack and I, I um, cut 11 pieces of nine and a half by nine and a half, 11 times. I also uh, ink them up with my walnut stain distress ink on the sides. Uh, I cut four pieces of two by 9.7, those for the lid, and two pieces of 9.7 by 9.7, all inked up with my walnut distress uh, walnut stain distress ink and those pieces one goes inside and one goes on top so choose one you like to see on the outside and i glue them <clears throat> also with my favorite glue it's gluing everything the art glitter glue And those small pieces uh, are cut to use on the sides. I see I've got a little piece sticking out there and I that's easily cut away with scissors like this. Well, gluing those pieces um, don't have lot to talk about so i uh, do a little bit of fast forward um, and i'll talk to you later So I uh, glued all my paper pieces on the lid and now those 11 pieces I will glue on the inside of my box and on the outside except the, uh, the bottom. Um, and I, I see my glue was not enough to stick well. But um, yeah, maybe it's nicer to glue it over here. A piece over here so uh, cut um, not 11 but 12 pieces nine and a half by nine and a half centimeters that will be much more nicer I think so um, this will be uh, worked away also yes okay uh, again it's just sticking some pieces of paper and um, I'll see you later and do a little bit fast forward again Okay, I found out I made a little mistake by cutting.
counting my squares. Um, I needed 10. I said I needed 11. After that, I said I needed 12. But I needed 10 squares um, of design paper of uh, the digitals from Gudrun. Um, and they were 9.5 by 9.5. In the description below, I will write down all the measurements and um, how many pieces you need in the right way. So excuse me for making this mistake. It's uh, not that bad, but I think uh, a waste from paper if you uh, yeah you cut for uh, twelve squares. Ten is more than enough. So now all the pieces are covered. Um, I would like. Uh, to make a little box inside where I can put some chocolate and after that I will decorate my whole piece for uh, especially from the inside so there will be a, a big surprise when the, when the uh, recipient opens it um, therefore I will use uh, some flowers from my stash, stash and of course uh, the design paper from Gudrun got all those small elements like those flowers over here um where i got here i got another piece uh this uh, circle with the butterfly you can uh, use it as a whole piece of course but you can cut out all those elements to uh, use and decorate uh, your um, creations so um that's i uh, also a great uh, thing from digitals you can uh print them out as many times as you want to use just the small pieces or the whole uh, piece of paper so uh, be creative with uh, with that um, by now I only uh, will uh, do the measurements and um, from my little box so if you like to make him a, a little box too uh, you know how to and how big you need to uh, need them. Decoration will uh, be off camera and I'll, uh, yeah, I'll already showed you in the beginning of this video. For the little box I cut a um, piece of uh, 21 by approximately 10. It was the leftover piece from, um, from the big box. So it, let's see it's 9.8. I score this at 5, so at the 9.8 side I score at 5 and over here at the 21 side I score at 1, at 6, 6 at 11 and at 16. And for the small lid, I cut a piece of cardstock for 8.2 by 8.2. And I score these at four sides at one and a half centimeters. One and a half. One and a half. One and a half. And one and a half. The box, um, these are the squares 5x5, five five, and these are a little bit smaller. They, these are 5x4.8. Five I cut away this small one centimeter stroke. Stroke is not the right word, I guess. <laughs> and I cut away those score lines in the 4.8 um, like this Now it looks like this. All the pieces 
fold the same way in valley fold also those on the bottom some glue on this little piece of one centimeter and I forgot to put my needle in there yes it's still working fold this in half so now you got a Coper. I don't know how you call it in English. <laughs> and the bottom pieces I glue all together. So it's nice and sturdy. And then here you can put a little present or some chocolate. And the lid, it is, uh, I made it the same way as the bigger lid from the explosion box itself. Small pieces cut in away, cutting away. <laughs> so it looks like this. Oh, fold. In valley fold glue on these small squares yeah okay so That was my son. We're going uh, horse riding. It's his lesson time. Okay, this was the lip going on there. And I'm not gluing it yet, but it will come over here in the middle with all the decoration around. Um, I hope you, uh, you like my uh, project, my explosion box with the romance in France, uh, gorgeous papers, of course you can make anything with them, but it, this was a, a little um, inspiration from me for you. Um, let me know in the description what you think about this project, um, maybe you got some tips or um, I would also like to know how you think about um, my English speaking because it's very scary to do but I really uh, hope to learn better every time and um, that it is as understandable enough for you uh, maybe you say please stop speaking English and uh, uh, do your thing um, it's okay the way you speak in, uh, in Dutch but maybe uh, you appreciate it and I will uh, definitely would like to hear about that so um, don't feel ashamed to uh, uh, comment that it's not okay I won't be uh, hurt or anything uh, I really like honesty um, so I hope it's okay and um, I will wish you a, a very nice day and uh, hope to see you soon on another video thank you very much and bye bye